This is Mike Herms, Palmer Johnson Power Systems. Um, we're going to go through the modification of a twin disc SP111 PTO into an RO111 air, air operated PTO. Okay, we'll start by uh, removing the lock washer and retaining nut. Next, we'll loosen up the uh, nut that retains the grease, grease line for the sliding sleeve. Remove the inspection cover. We'll attach the puller to pop the clutch pack off from the taper using a protector to keep from damaging the end of the shaft. Making sure we're square. After we've got the cross shaft and fork removed, we can pull the grease circs out of the cross shaft bores. And then the next step is we'll remove the bearing retainer, lock nut and bolt. So while installing the bearing retainer, sometimes it's good to back spin it a little bit to help it drop into the thread as it is a very fine threaded adjuster. Helps get it to get started in the threads without cross threading it. We'll run this down till it just touches the bearing race. And then we'll set up a dial indicator and check the main bearing end play. Okay, next we'll put a straight edge on here. C-clamp it to the housing. So we can have a location to mount our dial indicator to. So we can check the main shaft bearing in play. Taking a magic marker to make a little line on the end of the shaft so we check in at the same location. You want to rotate the shaft several times with a little downward pressure on it to try and seat the roller bearings in the bottom of the cup. And we'll set the dial indicator up on the end of the shaft and zero the indicator. Okay, we've got the dial indicator set, we rolled the shaft downward. We'll pick up a little bit on this to see where our end play is at. And it comes up to about five thousandths. We'll rotate it. We're at four. Go ahead and let her back down. We rotate the shaft back down. We're at a negative one. We'll re-zero the indicator. We'll pick it up again, comes up to about five. We'll rotate the shaft to try and get it to rotate up some. And we're coming in at 5,000 end play. Spec is four to seven. We'll set it back down and roll it down again just to make sure we zero. We come back to zero. So our end play adjustment is fine where it's set, 5,000 end play. We'll go ahead and put the lock tab in next. Next, we'll install the stud in the old hole where the lock tab bolt was. We'll put a little bit of thread locker on the threads just to hold it in position once it's locked down. And we'll put the lock tab in place to hold our bearing adjusting nut. I want to make sure I'm flush with the back of the housing. Lock the bearing adjuster down. Next, we'll install the snap ring on the bearing retainer. It'll act as the seat for the air bladder once the clutch pack gets installed and threaded down, making sure it's in its groove. And next we'll install the bolt, lock washer, and nut through the old grease hose location and tighten those down. And from here we'll go over to the clutch pack, disassemble it, and install the air bladder. <laughs> 